Welcome to the video. Our expert team developed an easy to use plugin for Abacus users to create RV of random elliptical inclusions with few clicks. It can be used for RVE modeling of composites with random elliptical inclusions. RVE modeling of concrete and similar structures. This plugin features exact check of intersection of ellipses, considering intersection with boundaries, easy to modify material and other features of the model. Ellipses could be anisotropic and considering ellipses orientations. Let's see how it works. After starting a new session in Abacus software, you can access the plugin by selecting the plugin menu on the main menu bar. With a simple click on the plugin name, the plugin interface will show up on the screen. At first, a fiber volume fraction must be entered. A value of 0.52 was chosen in this example. There are four options, exact, closest, smaller, and bigger which will be discussed later. For this example, we choose closest option. Then, the number of attempts to add a new fiber in the RVE can be determined, which is 1000 in default. Then you can choose the available options, which will be explained later. For now, we activate all options. In the dimension tab, length and width of the matrix part of RVE must be specified. A quadrilateral with the length of 5 was considered. Then, maximum and minimum values of semi-major and semi-minor axes of ellipses can be entered in the following boxes. As a final input, a distance tolerance must be entered, which is 0.01 in default. With clicking OK button, RVE will be generated automatically. Note that the actual fiber volume fraction of the RVE is written in the message area. Now we go to the property module to define the properties of matrix and ellipses. The plugin has created the properties and we only need to enter the values. So from the model tree, we expand the material branch and double click the ellipse property. In this video, we assume that ellipses have anisotropic properties since RVE is two-dimensional, we can define the property using lamina option. Mechanical properties of a glass epoxy composite was entered for this example. We do the same for the matrix part, however, we consider it as isotropic material. Mechanical properties of epoxy resin was entered for this example. As you can see from the model tree, sections of ellipses were defined by the plugin automatically and also assigned to the corresponded ellipses. In addition to the section definition, the plugin has defined the orientation of all ellipses because we had activated the orientation option. The plugin has moved the RVE part into the assembly module. You can see the instance in the model tree and by double click on its name, you will be entered to the assembly module. A static, general step with time period of 1 was defined by the plugin, named as step 1. Lastly, a job file was created by the plugin, named as tensil. We only have to apply appropriate boundary conditions in the load module of Abacus software. As you can see, there are no boundary conditions yet. This step can be done manually or automatically by another Ingsoft plugin named as PBC2D. Using this plugin, one can apply periodic boundary conditions on the RVE for simulating the tensile and shear loadings for two-dimensional geometries. Besides, it can generate mesh on the RVE. In the first tab, labeled as Mesh, details of mesh size must be determined. Please refer to our video about details of using this plugin. In the second tab, PBC, Model and Part must be selected and instance name must be entered. Be careful to enter the instance name correctly. 
You can access the instance name from the model tree under Instance Branch. Then, left down point of the RVE must be chosen from the viewport. Similar must be done for the right top point of the RVE part. In the Load tab, you must at first choose whether to define the load or not. The current model must be selected from the model menu. Similarly, Step 1 must be selected for the Step section. Then, you can choose the type of loading, which can be tensile or in plane shear. As a last step, the strain value must be entered, which is 0.01 in default. Clicking the OK button and everything is ready. As you can see, periodic boundary condition was defined successfully and can be observed from the Constraint Manager window in Intersection Module. Similarly, loading condition was created and applied to the RVE part. Discretization was also done successfully by plugin. Now the model is ready to be solved by submitting the job. You can observe the result in the visualization. Now let's discuss about the plugin interface. Before that, if you found this plugin helpful, please support our team with subscribe, like and comment. And visit our website for more products. There are two tabs for general settings and RVE dimensions. In general tab, you enter the fiber volume fraction in this box. There are four options, closest, smaller, bigger, and exact. The algorithm tries to create an RVE with a fiber volume fraction which is closest, smaller, or bigger than the input value. If you choose the smaller, the closest possible volume fraction which is smaller than the desired value is created. Similarly, bigger option creates closest bigger volume fraction. The option closest chooses the closest value between smaller and bigger values. These three options do not change any dimensions of the RVE. However, choosing the exact option, the algorithm is allowed to slightly change the RVE dimensions to obtain the exact fiber volume fraction. Number of attempt to add a new fiber to the RVE must be entered in this box. Checking the periodicity feature will result in an RVE with intersected ellipses at the boundaries, which is more realistic. Choose Orientation feature if you want to assign material orientation for anisotropic material. Remaining features are optional. If you check these features, you allow the plugin to do the following tasks. Assembly feature will import the created part into the assembly. Creating step feature will create a static general step. And create job feature will create the job for your model. In the upper section of Dimensions tab, you must enter the dimensions of matrix, which are length and height. In the lower section, there are four boxes. First two boxes are for specifying the maximum and minimum values of semi-major axis of ellipses. Similarly, the other two boxes are for determining the maximum and minimum values of semi-minor axis of ellipses. As a final input, you must determine the minimum distance between two ellipses, which is obtained by multiplying this input by semi-minor axis length. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this plugin helpful, please support our team with subscribe, like and comment. And visit our website for more products.